Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Omar Al Habash. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get data from the World Bank. Uh, the data from the World Bank is through the World Bank database. So, first we type uh, World Bank data and then we click World Bank Open Data. We go to um, Data Bank. From Data Bank, I choose World Development Indicators. Now, the World Bank will show me Data Bank, World Development Indicators, and I've got some tabs here. So the first one I'll choose, the first one I'll start with the first four, I start with time, and then I can select um, the recent years, 5, 10, 5, 15, 20, 25, 50. So as I'm doing collecting data for econometrics um, assignment on, on working on re, or working on your research project, your dissertation. So you can select if you're going to use time series data. In this case, you need to use like, um, um, I would say between 20, 25 or 50. So I would say I'm, I'm going to choose 20. So I can see from here all years selected from 1999 until 2018 so I close this tab and then I select country from country the World Bank will give me three options all countries and aggregates in aggregates the World Bank will give me the option to look at um, a block of countries so in this case I can see that the, the Arab world or I can look at the euro area or I can look at let's say um, Latin America and Caribbean they will give me also the classification to choose low and middle income countries or low income countries I can also choose a region um, Middle East and North Africa I can also look at um, um, OECD members I can also look at Sub-Saharan Africa. So this will give me the aggregate of all these countries. So I can choose that choose this one and I can choose others. So let's let's try to look at um, in this video Arab world. We can choose this or we can choose let's just choose um, let's choose Middle East and um, North Africa. Let's concentrate on the MENA region. Yeah, and then I go to countries and select a few countries from from the MENA region. Let's um, select um, let's select Egypt. Egypt Arab Republic we have also I can choose um, Morocco I can select also um, Jordan I can just few countries and once I've once I finish selecting the countries I can move on close this tab and move on now to um, databases before moving to uh, choosing the variables that I'm interested in um, I need to select the database so here for this video we we already selected world world bank world development indicators so in this case I will get variables in relation to world development indicators such as 
um, economic growth, um, employment, population, um, uh, trade, import, export. So selecting this database and looking at series, I can here also do search. So let's just focus on um, the major macroeconomic issues. So looking at um, GDP. And here will give me different options. GDP constant 2010 will give me GDP um, current US dollar. So um, in this case, I'm interested in GDP growth annual percentage. So this is this is GDP. So this is growth rate or oh, economic growth. We've got also um, GDP per capita growth. So this is economic growth per capita. We can choose also population. So we've got different variables that have population. Um, So we've got here total population. Since we are choosing um, our variables as a percentage, so in this case we need to look at something as a ratio, or let's say uh, population growth. So you need to look at population growth. So we've got population in total, and let's look for population growth. Yeah. So here we go. We've got population growth, annual percentage, so annual change. So we've got, let's look at also inflation. So we've got um, inflation, I'm going to choose inflation consumer prices. We have also, let's say, so you said economic growth, inflation, um, we've got also um, unemployment. We've got different variables in relation to unemployment, and this can be used with, let's say, more specific uh, variables. If I'm looking at, let's say, um, the education sector, so in this case, we can look at unemployment um, in relation to education, or let's say, the level of education. We've got here. We've got here unemployment total as a percentage of labor force. We have also, so we said them um, economic growth, um, inflation, population, when well, I said population growth, um, we've got now unemployment. Um, we've got also trade
we've got trade as a percent of GDP. Now, after choosing the variables, I need to come here and say apply changes. And after applying changes, I can see the years. And I've got here what I selected. So I selected Middle East and North Africa, Egypt, Morocco, and Jordan. So just, just a little sample of um, Middle East and North Africa region, the MENA region. Now we can download this. So when I finish, I need to download them in Excel format. So you can choose between Excel or CSV. It depends on the software you're going to use. So I can see Now the, the file, the Excel file has been downloaded, all the data. Now we've got all the data. So you've got you've got uh, the years on the top, yeah, and we selected twenty years, and you've got on the left side in the column we've got um, the countries, and for each country we can see here for the MENA region we've got um, GDP growth, GDP growth per capita, population growth, inflation, unemployment, and trade as a percent of GDP. And then you've got Egypt for Morocco and Jordan. Now you need to start tidying up the data and getting the, variable, uh, the variables in the right shape, in the right order, in order to start analyzing data. Thank you for listening. Hope you will benefit from this video.